Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what are Miranda warnings? If you've ever watched any crime drama TV show or movie since 1966, 1966 is the year that the Supreme Court of the United States decided their seminal case, Miranda v. Arizona, then you've likely heard some variation of the Miranda warnings. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult an attorney before speaking to the police and to have an attorney present during questioning now or in the future. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without an attorney present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to an attorney. The purpose of Miranda warnings is to advise and to thereby protect each and every arrested person's Fifth Amendment constitutional right against compelled self-incrimination and to let them know that they have a Sixth Amendment right to counsel before the police can engage in custodial interrogation of a detained person. The reason that Miranda warnings exist is because in 1963, a guy named Ernesto Miranda had been arrested by the Phoenix Police Department and charged with kidnapping, rape, and armed robbery. After a two-hour interrogation, Ernesto hand-wrote a confession on a police form that contained the following language verbatim, quote, This statement has been made voluntarily and of my own free will, with no threats, coercion, or promises of immunity, and with full knowledge of my legal rights, understanding any statement I make can and will be used against me, unquote. The problem? No one from the Phoenix Police Department ever bothered to read, explain, or make sure that Ernesto was ever made aware of any of that critical small print on the bottom of the form that he had signed. Two years later, and after he was convicted, the United States Supreme Court made sure that that would never happen again. Or if it did, that whomever's rights were violated would thereafter have a legal remedy in a criminal courtroom. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.